Happening today, one of the longest running festivals of its kind in the country happens right here in the valley. The 57th annual Boar's Head and Yule Log Festival. It's happening at a Youngstown church and that's where we find First News reporter Christina Mullen. She's live with what you need to know. It's all going on on Wick Avenue at St. John's Episcopal Church, of course, in the city of Youngstown. That's right, Abby, 57 years the Boar's Head and Yule Log Festival has been going on. And if you guessed it, it's a tradition for a lot of families around the city. A lot of costumes, candies, celebrations, music. And to give you a sneak peek of what you can see tonight, we have Kit up here early with us this morning. She is the sprite in the festival, and she's no new person to this. How long have you been in the festival? Four years. Four years. So she really knows what she's doing. She has a new position. She's going to give us a sneak peek of that coming up next. But this is Meg. She is the stage director. So she gets everybody in line and ready to go. It takes a lot of work. How, how long do you think you guys plan for this? Um, we plan all year. We'll finish up to, um, today, this afternoon, and we will be having meetings within the month about what are we going to do next year, what things do we need, what costumes need re you know, revisited, um, what kinds of problems we had, or how we can make it better. Um, so it's a long process. It's an annual tradition that we live with for um, pretty much the entire year. And she inherited this position about 10 years ago. And take a look at this book. This is what's really cool. You this is notes that have been passed on to you, so you know what you're doing as a stage director. Absolutely. Um, I inherited the job about um, 10 years ago from another, another person who did it for about 10 years, who, from the person before who did it for many, many years before that. Um, and it was a lot of work. It was a fantastic um, bit of um, passing the torch. Um, and I feel honored to have been asked to do it. I feel honored to be able to serve my community in the way I, in the way I do. We found the latest notes dating back to the 1990s. So just to give you an idea of how long this has been going on, over 50 years. So for someone who's never been here before, it's kind of like a medieval times festival. It is. Um, it's a celebration of the Epiphany, um, which comes after Christmas. Um, and it really is celebrated in a lot of cultures. And we go back to the medieval England days, and we bring in, you know, the lady of the manor, and we bring in some beef eaters, and we slaughter or pretend boar and carry the boar's head as a symbol of good triumphing over evil, um, and have a, just a nice celebration. It's kind of like the end of Christmas. Um, and in our household, we don't even take our Christmas tree down until after the boar's head, because it just feels like the Christmas season continues on. And you're invited to come out. There's two shows today, one at 1.30 and one at 4. So if you can't come out, we're going to give you a sneak peek of what the beginning of the show will look like. Kit, take it away. This is how she'll open up the show. Again, at 1.30 and 4 o'clock, right here at St. John's Episcopal Church in Youngstown.